Hello, BookTube. It's a warm and humid day here, and that's causing my mail carriers, one kind or another, to slack off. Uh, with the result that the morning's mail consisted of one package. One package. Uh, and I thought, uh, at first, well, it's you only got one package in the morning, uh, because the, the you know, the, it's just an off morning, that's all, and drivers probably preoccupied with lots of other stuff. But you'll get more, uh, later in the afternoon with FedEx, and then later in the afternoon with, uh, the U.S. Postal Service. So, you know, just hold on to this one and lump it in with the others and do a, one big mail haul at the end of the day. But then I realized if I do that, I robbed myself of a perfect opportunity to complain about the fact that this mail shipment only had one book. And I like complaining. And I've got a captive audience. So I thought, let's open this one book together and see what it is. Is it possible that it will be good enough to counteract the fact that it's alone? We'll soon find out. Hmm? What's it gonna be? That's utterly unknown to me. <laughs> All right, we'll go on an experimental journey together here then. So this is a this is from the other press, and it's a paperback original that comes out in June. This will be an eighteen dollar paperback instead of a thirty five dollar hardcover, uh, and it is uh, by Carla Guelfenbein, and it is in the distance with you. Uh, a rather lovely thing with uh, the French flaps and uh, and whatnot, uh, and a blurb by J M Cutsey. Uh, so what have we got here? This won the 2015 Alfagara Prize, the most prestigious Spanish language literary award. So those of you in Spain, uh, those of you in Spain, I'm going to want to know, this was translated from the Spanish by John Cullen and came out in uh, uh, 2015. Yes, as uh, the exact same title, Contigo en las Distancia. So... Uh, uh, with you in the distance. So uh, let's see. What do, let's see. We got. What have we got here? Uh, okay, it's got a million blurbs, including uh, Library Journal, who gave it a starred review. And that that means something. And also a blurb by Garth Greenwell, and that means something too. But it's the opposite. So so what have we got? What is this? Uh, renowned Chilean author Carla Guelfenbein won the prestigious Alfa Guara Prize in 2015 for her mesmerizing novel Contigo en la Distancia. And this is the first English translation. Uh, it follows the stories of three people whose lives are brought together around a notoriously private cult writer, Vera Sigal, whose character is loosely based on the groundbreaking and famously private Brazilian writer Clarice Lispector. And yeah, that's kind of interesting. Uh, Character of Vera Segal is, is coaxed to life as Daniel, Emilia, and Horacio share their narratives, highlighting her tragic past and enigmatic present, leading up to some shocking revelations. An engrossing novel that shares the importance and influence of passion and artistic work. Uh, this book is a dizzying saga of love, envy, talent, and the process of creativity. That's what I was hoping from the, the, the opening of the premise. I was hoping it would be about writing. Uh, it's also particularly timely since American interest in the life and work of Claire Lispector, uh, of Clarice Lispector, is rapidly growing as a new translation of her work becomes available. In the Distance with You is set in modern day Chile. Daniel, Vera Segal's neighbor and good friend, finds her body badly damaged from a fall down the stairs in her own home. He calls the police and visits her in the hospital, speaking to her even in, an, in her unconscious state, sharing his anxieties over his own life and the mysterious way in which he found her, suspecting that her fall was not accidental. Emilia, a Franco-Chilean academic who is studying the cult fascination of Vera Segal, is devastated to learn that her subject is in the hospital and visits her, meeting Daniel, and then learning from him about Vera's secluded life. While Emilia and Daniel work together to uncover the enigmatic life of their friend and inspiration, Horacio, a acclaimed poet with whom Vera had a tumultuous passionate affair, shares his stories of Vera during their youth, navigating through Chile during the 1950s, 60s, and the years of the Pinochet dictatorship. As writers, together they begin to inspire and encourage one another until something monumental happens between them. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
All right. Uh, and let's see here. Uh, Carla Guelfenbein is the author of five novels and several short stories, which have appeared in magazines and anthologies, and her work has been translated into 14 languages. Uh, before becoming a writer, she studied biology at Essex University and graphic design at St. Martin's School of Art in London. Wow. Okay, so an author of many talents. Uh, okay, well, it's translated work, and I'm always up for that. I have a... Uh, Okay, and uh, okay, and John Cullen. I knew that name sounded familiar. In addition to all the other things that he has translated, he translated uh, Kamel Daoud's The Mersault Investigation, which I loved. So uh, uh, that's great. All right, good. All right, so this is, this is going to be a paperback original of uh, an fa a fascinating-sounding work in translation by a Chilean author I don't think I've ever read. Uh, great. All right, so much will depend on, on John Collins' ability to translate, and I will, in the meantime, ask the publicist if perhaps they can get their hands on uh, a Spanish-language version for me. Uh, but in the meantime, that that is it. That is a one-book mail haul, and I don't have anything to complain about. It wasn't a bad choice or a boring one. Uh, I will certainly read this when the time comes. Uh, so that's it. I don't know if we'll get more mail today. Uh, but if we do, I'll be Johnny on the spot with you. So, <laughs> in the meantime, I will see you later. Thank you, BookTube.